Dear Diary. Sidewalks are all covered with snow. You can't even see the, the yellow lines to know where the curb are. Usually at night, I have to deal with the snow plows. Shoot. What did I forget? <laughs> I left it out there. Um, at night, I have to deal with the snow plows. And they don't like you being there because it prevents them from shoveling nice and evenly everywhere. So they try to intimidate you to leave as if you have somewhere to go when you're sitting there at 3 in the morning. And then the, the guys who come out and actually shovel the sidewalk here and throw salt on it, you can't really see, but the sidewalk ends right there. So that's how close their face is outside my window. So I have had more times than I can count where I'm in here in the, either the computer's on, it's not on, I was asleep and I was awakened by the trucks. And I turn and I look and there's a head literally two or three feet away from me on the other side of the glass. Apparently they're not going to be here today when all the snow is covering everything. They were here last night. I don't know if they're milking the clock or what, and I don't really blame them because they've had a rotten year for them. They've had no snow at all until now. I feel bad for the plows, but um, so they had a librarian, <laughs> this little nice petite librarian out there with a shovel shoveling off the sidewalk. So I grabbed my shovel from the trunk and did it for her and did the yellow line so people can see where the curb is and she put down a little bit of salt hopefully that'll hold it until the professionals get here my trunk is I'm not gonna say filled but about one quarter full at least at least one quarter to one half full of gear that is primarily meant to help other people it's something I learned back in high school, my best friend Scott. Because I grew up in Michigan, so it was very much this kind of wet snow, lake effect snow is what we had. And even while he's in high school, with no one telling him to, this guy would go out in this kind of weather with his truck, with his chains, batteries, and just look for anybody who needed help. And when he would help them, because I started going out with him when he was doing it, when he'd help them, they would want to pay him or do something for him, and he said, no, just make sure you do something nice for someone else when you have the chance. What a lesson to learn when I was like 16, 17 years old. And the people who run this company I worked for still at their age haven't figured that out. I actually had the ice freezing in my hair. And I am not in, I've got an intestinal hernia. I have no exercise. But my attitude was if that gives me a heart attack shoveling all that snow, I just come out a winner. Because I'll never have to be in a world with New Jersey human resources again. I'll never have to be in a world with these horrible people who stab you in the back ever again. And I'm really sorry I didn't just have a heart attack out there. That just could have all been over right now. Just like it all could have been over if they just hadn't fired me and I'd be sitting in my desk right now doing my job, making money, and benefiting the company. But evil people have to just insert themselves into your lives everywhere you go and do what they do. So
So diary in the back of the trunk there, I've got a, a lithium battery pack for st jump starting people's cars. I've got two sets of jumper cables because I'm always ready to give away one set if, if someone will benefit by actually having their own set. <clears throat> I've got all the ropes, I've got the orange cones, the flasher lights, uh, the shovels, I, I can't even remember all the stuff I've got back there, the, the ice remover, I've got all that. So if I see anybody who's in trouble, I always try to help them. I've jump started many cars at work after work when people's cars wouldn't start. But I feel like I'm the only person in the world who does anything for other people. Because all I've encountered the last month or two is just people who attack others and exploit others. Why did New Jersey Human Resources even enter my life? They're 2,000 miles away. They don't know me. Why did they even enter my life? I never asked them to. You talk about harassment. The person I gave the gift to was a friend, or at least friendly with me. Always had a big, huge smile on their face, welcoming. So it's not like I used a crowbar to insert myself into their life. But New Jersey Human Resources, I never asked for them to come anywhere near me. I don't like to associate with people like that. They have no character. They're bad. They're, they, they hurt people for a living. That's what they do. I don't want any association with those people, but they inserted themselves into my life. If they had left it up to our local office whether or not I was still employed, I would have to believe, I don't know for sure, because there, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but there are a couple jerks in the, in the office. Thank God there aren't many at all. Most of the people there are beautiful. But there's, there's a couple jerks there. But if they took a vote on whether I should stay or I should go, I would think it's going to be somewhere around 90, 95% or more of the people who say, yeah, Paul should stay. If only so they keep getting free candy. But no, New Jersey Human Resources, it doesn't even know me, doesn't even know what goes on in our office on a daily basis. Listening to someone who has demonstrated that they are a liar makes a decision of this nature. You, you... Where's the camera when I need it? I don't know if you saw the guy who was right behind me on the surface that I just spent all the time shoveling. And the guy was sitting there just staring at me, talking into the camera, and then he goes like this. Because that's what you do to homeless people. He's still walking on the sidewalk that I just shoveled. My God! Are there any decent people in this world? He got to the door safely. You're welcome, my friend. In diary, as I was editing this, I just remembered one other thing. Over those eight years, I am the one and only person in the entire office building, not just our office, but all of these professional offices. I'm the only person I'm aware of who took that same shovel and shoveled the snow and the ice and laid out salt all over the place at our office over eight years. They had crews that would come in to do this, but there were some times when the crews wouldn't arrive for six, eight, twelve or more hours after the snow fell. So to keep everybody safe in that building so they could walk out of there, I was the guy who went out with a shovel. And I'm the guy who took something that I had in my car to go grab the salt out of those bins. For eight years. And I'm the one who lost my job and I'm the one who does not get a longevity bonus next month.